Good evening, folks. This is your pilot speaking, welcoming you to Austria and the Biosyn Sanctuary, as we like to call it for the public, as you are aware, where we house many of our dinosaurs in this secret facility. However, for you guys, you will not be here to visit the dinosaurs. You will be here to take in and start your work alongside the rest of Biosyn's operatives in creating a future for this company in the Biosyn facility. And hello everybody and welcome to another Jurassic World Evolution 2 video where today I am showcasing this, this massive building that is my Biosyn facility, which we are actually not in Austria because there's no map for that yet, though since we actually have gotten confirmation that we'll be getting two brand new map locations in the Dominion update that'll be coming on June 14th, well, the Biosyn, the, it's called the Dominion Biosyn expansion, which, I mean, I don't know why they're calling it both, since for the Dominion part it doesn't even have all the dinosaurs, but that's a whole different story. But we'll be getting a map for where the Biosyn um, facility is located. So the Biosyn map is supposed to be in, like, Austria, if, if I recall. Like, at least on the dinosaur, um, on the DFW website, it states that the facility, it, oh, there's a Tyrand on there. There's supposed to be the Biosyn facility actually located in Austria, which, uh, Tyrand on Dodge, oh god, oh god, jeez, I almost got hit. Can they even attack you? Oh, that'll be so cool if Quetzalcoatlus will be able to attack, because, I mean, it's bloody huge. I'm pretty sure it's bigger than the helicopter here. But if we look at this, which, remember, guys, I did do a speed build for this not too long ago. I think a few weeks ago it came out for you guys. But, and I actually haven't been on this game for, like, a month, to be honest, which, I don't know why, it's a fun game. But I decided to do it this way. I've made some changes. For example, we have some pillars of, um fire which is what all i could use to like sort of build this little expansion piece also if you can see in here where i added some torches which for nighttime it'll allow this to light up also as you can see i used the scenery bushes as foliage for this but i mean also cages yeah i forgot to mention those i used the indoraptor cage to represent buildings and another trandons coming after me and on the inside, it's mainly just forests, but also housing a Parasaurolophus and Stegosaurus, which is to represent that image that came out not too long ago with the baby Nasiraceratops, Ellie, and Alan Grant. We saw these guys in the background, which is actually why there's a little concrete spot right here. That's where the baby Nasiraceratops would be, but we don't have them. But moving on, if we continue our tour of Biosyn's facility, we just need to get above the trees. This is a extra facility where we do some off-the-grid research because you may be aware that there are brand new dinosaurs coming all over the world. Well, now you know the truth. And since you guys are working for us, Please be reminded, you will not be leaving this place until we are finished with you. And this is where we are making those new dinosaurs, including one that is actually here in the shadows, a project that will test the limits of predators. And that is, of course, a Giganotosaurus beneath us. We also have some in-gen counterparts for carnivores, such as Carnotaurus, Allosaurus, Nasutoceratops, a unique Ankylosaurus, a Pachycephalosaurus, and a interesting Velociraptor that we have named Beta, which is a Velociraptor we recently captured. But Enough of that, that is for you to discuss with Lewis Dotson when we continue our tour in the facility itself. But, as you can see, we also... Well, I, I think I can stop this pilot narration, guys. I'm just gonna talk normally. So, this is actually California, if you haven't guessed it, the Yosemite map from the campaign. And I basically, after building this, I spent ages making all these dinosaurs. I'm pretty sure there's over 300 of them in this map. Well, actually, hold on. Let's check. Nope, that's the wrong one. Let's see. If we go into appeal right here, we have 213 dinosaurs visible. Well, 213 total. Jeez. Yes, I, I can't believe... Well, it's not 300, but... Oh, wait, where's my helicopter? Hey, get back here. 
Ex oh, sorry guys, your pilot um, just had to check the stats of the dinosaurs. We currently have 213 dinosaurs, including some of our own, but remember you will not be telling anyone of these new species, including this dr group of dreadnoughtists you see before you. And we will be working on more, and we will be using your help in the amber mines down below. Because as you know, we actually have a entire amber buffet basically here on this location that we own also as you can see there's a nasuto ceratops guys and we have like all the, all the engine dinosaurs that like are canon we have them here like including some pachycephalosaurus and stiggy molochs i think both these are stiggy molochs yeah there's stiggy molochs here but also pachycephalosaurus somewhere and let's see can we find a carnivore oh there's a brachiosaurus which yes brachiosaurus is coming back thank god the trauma won't be permanent and oh we got to be careful around here as there's a flock of pterodons here well actually like five which speaking of which guys i i th forgot to do this but i was planning on taking a screenshot of like my map when i was getting all the dinosaurs made and what i was trying to do and this is why we seriously need to get this fixed but i was trying to get like a whole bunch of pterodons and dimorphodons like to break out and be in the wild as you can see here we have some one also there which he's injured but he's not dying so it's fine well actually no we have four here Okay, yeah, we got four here, and some are actually at the Biosyn facility, but here's the thing. I was trying so hard to get, like, a bunch. Like, I had, like, the whole map was covered in domes, and I should have taken a screenshot of this, but I didn't. And, well, the sad thing is, when I finished... I only got like a few because they kept on dying, they wouldn't break out, and the sad thing is, you have to have them be starving and stuff in order to be wanting to break out, because their regular comfort needs aren't enough, they need to have everything off, which just stands to reason, we need an option where we can just have them like, you know, exit out of the aviary, like, it should be an option, especially like in Sandbox. But, also we got, um, an Apatosaurus here, actually, very nice. Also, you know, I think we missed them, oh, yep, here we go, we got some Iguandons here, another Biosyn dinosaur. I really hope we get a skin for this, I actually need to do a video on, like, what I think will be the situation with all the dinosaurs and s dinosaur skin variants that aren't coming in the Dominion DLC, because there's a lot missing, including like a Trosraptor, Moros Intrepidus, and even that Iguanodon skin. So, who knows? Oh god, the frame rate's breaking. Oh, we got some Sinoceratops here, actually. Let's, let's lift up. And I heard a T-Rex roar. Where is... Can we find the T-Rex? I mean, we have the, um, tracker. Wait, there's something here. Oh, that was an Allosaurus I just heard. Okay, let's lower down. Oh, no, it's the Pachycephalosaurus. Nope, that's what it is. Okay, well, I can't f see a T-Rex here. It should be obvious, but it's not. And yeah, guys, there's the Pachycephalosaurus. There's some Gallimimus here, too. And also, oh, Stegosaurus. Well, one that's wild. Now, let's see. Can we... Oh, well, let's turn... Now, this area right here is supposed to represent the, uh, area which we saw the Giganotosaurus in the Dominion trailers and stuff. That's what it's supposed to be. Like, this is supposed to be the viewing tower, but obviously it's nothing like it. Though we are getting a Biosyn version in the Dominion DLC, so that's good. I'll be able to replace that. And also, for the people who I said I was doing... Well, for the w people who are wondering, I am not going to be doing a series on this map. I... Figured I would, but now that, like, we have a DLC on its way, I figured I would just wait till that comes out, play its campaign, and maybe make my own Biosyn facility afterwards. That's what I'm thinking about doing, so I'll... I'll pretty much wait. But, moving over here, we have an Iguanodon again. This is our little swampy area, actually. And, like, oh my god, this whole map was just crazy to build. But... We got a swamp here, which, when we get Therizinosaurus, guys, I'll probably end up putting... Oh my god, the frame rate when you turn the helicopter is just, like, so bad. What was I saying? Yeah, this will be where I put the um, Therizinosaurus, hopefully, as long as I can. 
because this map is like breaking like it's crashed like five times as of trying to record this and this is the ps5 for god's sake so i probably have a lot of scenery and trees and stuff oh i saw a para oh that's a oh i think that's a 2001 jape P3 one. Yep, that is. The nice red crest. Also, you could count it as a Jurassic Park one, because I'm pretty sure they're the same, but... Well, whatever. Oh, wait, what's up here? Okay, I just... Oh, it's the Stego and another pair. A Lost World one. Okay, okay. And along... Now we're along the river! Not Site B's! But, if we go... I think this is actually the end of the river. Oh, yeah, it's where the forest is. Yeah, to hide that, you know... It doesn't, the water does not go to the end of the world. Yeah, there's the stop, and, like, this is outside the map, right about here. This, like, the outside. But, let's head back, and, yeah, guys, like, this was a lot of fun to build. I had, it was actually a speed build that I haven't, I haven't done many speed builds, and I'm not gonna lie, I really want to get into doing more. Also, I don't think it's heat. Actually, yeah, I think it's around here. I also have blue here somewhere. Oh my god. Is that all the paras? Let's lower it. Oh my god, we are lowering so incredibly slowly. Even though it's actually not that slow when you think about it, but it just feels it. Yeah, these are- oh my god, that's a lot of paras. I think I have like 50 in here. Well, I wouldn't be surprised. I released a bunch of them, but... Well, yep, there's the Paras, and yeah, like, I hope you guys like it. I know that there's other ways to do it, like, if you're doing mods, you could use the, um, towers, and it'll look taller, and it'll actually, you know, be in scale, probably. But, because I'm not doing mods and stuff, I figured that using these buildings was the best course for it. And, well, we're gonna be getting the actual Biosyn facility soon, so we're all good. And also, actually, I'm gonna get off the helicopter because that's actually really loud and oh my god are these all trikes oh my god these are all trikes except for a para yikes oh there, nope there's two nasuda ceratops here okay we're good yeah there's a why did i make so many trikes like look on them if we just look on the map like you you can see there are so many oh there's some baryonyx dinosaur threat yeah 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 now where's the t-rex is it around here Hello, Monsieur T-Rex. Have you... Oh my god, there's all the stiggies. There's the Nasutus... Yeah, this is crazy. I know how many I made. I made 25 Nasutoceratops. I don't know why, guys. Oh, there's T-Rex. Oh, wow, she has traveled far. Okay, here's what I'm gonna say. When I made the T-Rex and moved her, she was all the way over here, where all the Carnotaurus are actually now. Is there anything else over here? Oh, no, blue is here. Yep, blue is here, and also a poor Gallimimus right in the middle of the water. That's not really the safest situation. But yeah, she's... Rexy has made it all the way over here. Well, then again, some Brachiosaurus have, like, wandered off all over the map. Also, yeah, this is the river, the river! And I was originally hoping to try and use the lagoon for this, but... When I made it and looked at its size, I felt like it was a little too big. Also, you know, I couldn't get it into a natural shape, guys, so... I'm sorry, I figured we'd just do a normal river, but... Who knows, maybe when we do our Biosyn playthrough, we'll, um, actually make a lagoon. So, who knows? But, that is the Biosyn Sanctuary, guys, with, a. Uh, over 200 dinosaurs, including some. Oh, I was hoping for a storm to actually happen because I said it's a storms. Oh, and oh god, why why can they? Seriously, Frontier, I love you guys. I love this game, but if you're gonna give them the option to break out, when the when the dinosaurs are able to break out, let them all just go out, not like one. Cause like what happened was like every time one. Aviary was broken out, only that one, and maybe one other would get out. And only a few would survive their injuries, because usually those last ones were luckily uninjured, but nope, we only have like, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 
Well, no, nine. We only have nine. And, not gonna lie, I did a count, but in all my Pterandons, I made probably over a thousand Pterandons. Which probably explains why this game has been crashing so many times in this map, because, well, it registers all those. But, I don't know, guys. But, I had a lot of fun with this. I only wish I had more Pterandons. And I only have three Dimorphodons, which I know I made more of those than Pterandons. Like, let's see, how many? One, two, three... Yeah, only three Dimorphodons. Oh my god. So... I mean, with Quetzalcoatlus, it's going to be super easy because, like, it's so big, you'll only be able to have one in a singular dome. And I've heard that, like, the minimum is, like, four, which is kind of shocking because, like, four is, like, what you would need for Geonstabergia, but this thing is way bigger than that thing. I don't know what they're thinking, but who knows. But... I'm going to leave it there on the Biosyn Sanctuary, guys. I had a lot of fun with this. And for anyone else who's actually built this, if you want to share your images with me on Twitter or Instagram, go ahead and do that. I'd love to see your recreations, whether they're modded, unmodded. And for those who did unmodded, or actually both, for modded, did you use it, it based on the Game Beavers or the other guy? I can't remember his name. It's not off the top. Uh, what's his name? Well... I don't know, I don't remember his name, but the guy who inspired Game Beaver. Or did you, if you did it unmodded, did you base it off of a design similar to this? Or did you do it in a different way? L let me know in comments how you did it. And if you want to share an image, remember, just show me on Twitter or Instagram. And hopefully, guys, when Dominion's DLC comes out, I can play it for you. I hope I can do it in a reasonable amount of time because... It's coming out during the week, which is just so annoying. Why can't it be on the weekend when I'm not in school? I don't know. Frontier's crazy sometimes. But if you've enjoyed this video, guys, I'd appreciate the like. And if you haven't already, do hit the subscribe button to join the hunt. Be safe. And until next time, we'll see you later. Bye-bye.